What's going on guys, it's Gamer here, and today I'm going to be doing a different video that I didn't really ever want to do, but because I saw this basically almost everywhere on the internet, mainly being Twitter and YouTube, I thought that I might as well go ahead and do a little bit of research and see what the hell is actually going on. So this video is going to consist of future episode spoilers, so if you don't want to see any spoilers, uh, feel free to click off the video if you want. You don't have to watch it, but if you are curious to see what's going to happen in, the fu in future episodes, feel free to, to stay ahead. But uh, the two main sources I'm going to be crediting uh, are going to be in the description, and that's uh, the Twitter user at uh, Herms98 and, uh, and Geekdom101 on YouTube. I will be linking the video that Geek the Main, and I will be linking the tweet that Herms actually tweeted out uh, on the 7th, May 7th. So uh, feel free to go uh, follow Herms, go subscribe to Geekdom because these guys uh, are what give you like all your all your Dragon Ball info on on, on Super and just many other things. So if you guys want to go uh, follow them on their social medias, feel free. But I'm basically going to go. I'm going basically going to go ahead and talk about what I specifically want. What specifically want to talk about, and that's a little bit episode 92 and mainly episode 93 because episode 93 is a big one. So basically, what happens is that in episode 92, the title for episode 92 is "Emergency." We don't have all 10 members, and the reason why it, we uh, they don't have all 10 members is because the tournament member Majin Buu ends up unable to participate. It turns out he's fallen asleep and definitely won't wake up again and, and for about two months. So they, they basically pulled off what they did back in uh, the Universe 6 vs. 7 arc in Dragon Ball Super. So if you guys remember or you don't remember, Majin Buu never fought. He never fought in the Universe 6 vs. 7 turn uh, tournament. So they basically did this again for the Tournament of Might or the Tournament of Power, however you want to call it. They basically did that again, which I am personally kind of, like, not really upset, but like, I'm, well actually no, I am kind of upset about it because, honestly, I really didn't want them to do this. I really wanted to see what Majin Buu can actually do for the team on Universe 7 against all the other universes that are going to be participating, of course, which is all of them, but that's just, that's the point. So most of you are probably thinking, well, who are they going to, who are they going to use or who are they going to take as their 10th member? Now, for a lot of people, actually, mostly everybody, this is a big one. And this is something that no one would have ever probably thought of. Unless uh, unless you're one of those guys who saw this info like a couple weeks ago, but you didn't really believe it because you, you, uh, you were just like, oh, no, it's probably nothing. It's Frieza. It's Frieza. So, episode 98, or 93, I'm sorry, uh, that comes out on June 4th is titled, You're the 10th Warrior, Goku Visits Frieza. So, and the description says on Herms' tweet, After seeing with his own eyes that Boo won't uh, awaken no matter what, Goku suggests recruiting Frieza as the 10th member. While everybody objects, Goku hurries to, to, to ask fortune teller Baba to resurrect Frieza from hell for just 24 hours. Now, for those of you who don't remember um, fortune teller Baba or what she can do. Yes, she can resurrect to anybody who she chooses for 24 hours. Uh, this happened back in uh, in Dragon Ball when she resurrected uh, Grandpa Gohan, um, like back like from Dragon Ball, like I said. And she also did it for Goku uh, for a second time in the series uh, back in the Boo arc in Z, so that we can you know participate in the World Martial Arts Tournament that was in Z. So, my overall opinion about Frieza being the 10th member, and people are saying like this isn't confirmed, who's to say that Frieza is going to 10th member? I say it's heavily implied that he is going to be the 10th member. Now, like let's say that he is the 10th member, because it's heavily implied that he is. My overall opinion is, is that 
I like Frieza. Frieza is personally probably my favorite. No, actually, he's like my second favorite Dragon uh, Dragon Ball villain. My overall favorite villain is Goku Black, but Frieza is my second favorite villain. So the fact that he is going to be basically making another return in the series is it makes me really like really excited. But at the same time, I'm just like. Why did they kind of have to go the route they did just to bring him back? Like, why did they have to make Majin Buu fall asleep again and he wouldn't be able to wake in two months? That's what really just kind of disappoints me. It's like, why did they have to do it like this again? But overall, I'm I'm pretty excited for episode 93 for when it comes out. June 4th. Mark down your calendars if you want. But um, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to say he's going to agree immediately I'm gonna say that he's gonna be like no fuck you piss off or whatever you know he's not gonna agree immediately obviously because this is Frieza and Goku's gonna ask Frieza so something's gonna happen and I'm excited to see what's just going to happen you know so if you guys want more details on um, um, like the whole like the rest of the episodes that were also that also have scans out for an episode 90 and 91 uh, go check out Herms' tweet. Uh, go check out um, Geekdom 101's uh, video because uh, Geekdom makes a lot of good quality Dragon Ball content, and he's always true about everything he talks about. He always has like viable info. You know, he always makes sure that whatever info that he use that he uses in his videos is basically never wrong or like not confirmed that's what he never basically uses he only uses everything in his info that he uses in his videos that's confirmed that's legit that comes from reasonable sources that are always pretty much right all the time so i would recommend going to subscribe to keep to keep them 101 if you haven't already i don't know why you haven't if you love dragon ball but that's basically it i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here honestly if they do it right, I feel like Frieza can be very, very interesting, but overall, we'll just have to see. I guess we'll just have to wait until the next uh, couple weeks until we finally get the episode uh, that Frieza finally returns for his debut, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you guys did it, of course, enjoy. Be sure to drop a like, and if you're brand new to the channel, also please be sure to, to subscribe to the channel for future videos just like this. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.